Welcome back from that break, and it's good you have rejoined us again on the program. Good morning, Abuja, showing right now and right here only on the Unity Station NTA Channel 5, Abuja. And on to my next conversation, we have a very interesting topic before us this morning. We are going to look at conserving our ozone layer, and I have an environmentalist here with me in the studio. Help me welcome Omowaye Pelumi to the program. Omowaye, you are welcome to the program. Thank you very much for um, having me, ma. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mama. Okay, conserving our ozone layer are very, very important. But yes, to start with, let's even want to know uh, what is ozone layer and why is it important? Okay, um, ozone layer is very, very important to human existence because it helps shield us from a lot of harmful sun rays that are in the atmosphere. You see the atmosphere? There are about five layers in the atmosphere. You have the troposphere, you have the stratosphere. Now the stratosphere, that's where the ozone layer is. Mm. So it's like a blanket mm. that that absorbs all those UV rays from the sun. So as you're seeing the sun as it's coming out down to the atmosphere, so any chemicals, any harmful substances mm. that is coming out, the ozone, the ozone layer just receives it. So it serves as a shield mm. that preserves the earth. And without the ozone layer, you see, discover that many people will fall ill quickly. Mm. You see a lot of cancer out mm. there. You see skin diseases. And also, even our environment, you know, we need sunlight. But then if we don't have the ozone layer that gives us the sunlight that we need, if those harmful substances from the sunlight are being released into the earth, it affects plants, it affects organisms, affects a lot of things, and also makes the planet hot. Mm. Right now, the ozone layer is helping us in mm. that aspect. There are some materials that also are supposed to come in, but they can't get in because of the fact that we have the ozone layer. So the ozone layer plays a vital role in preserving the environment mm. and um, human existence. So without the ozone layers, I'm not sure who will be here. Who will be here. <laughs> the ozone so, layer is like a coverage yes, protecting yes, us yes. from a lot of things. Yes, yes, okay, yes. now let's talk about uh, some of the key factors contributing to ozone layer depletion and how does ozone depletion affect, affect human health? And the environment. Okay, um, as I recently, based on um, the normal community, as a, in, in communities where you, where you see lots of people, I discovered that um, most persons are not really aware of what um, ozone layer is, mm -hmm. and sometimes the activities mm -hmm. that they engage in tends to influence the depletion of the ozone layer, such as bush burning. Mm -hmm. You see, some people gather bushes instead of cutting it and doing the proper weeding and allow these things decay, but they take it, gather it, and they mm -hmm. burn it. And also, you go to some community, you see people still use a lot of firewood uh, to cook, mm -hmm. and we may, may, whereby we have alternative sources of energy, but um, this person still use um, firewood to cook. So all of those attributes to affecting the ozone layer. Mm -hmm. And also, some chemicals, mm -hmm. like uh, um, some, some, some areas in the country, the, you see they have a lot of industrial waste. And this industrial waste, they are not properly managed. So at the end of the day, all of all those things still goes back to the atmosphere. So all of this, it's affecting the atmosphere. And also there's, there's this chemical, it's called chlorofluo, chlorofluo, ah, mm. CF, CFC. CFC. Mm -hmm. So this chemical, it's usually in um, fridge. Um, you have ACs and... Um, uh, most of uh, all these uh, devices, um, equipment that you use in cooling. So all these, uh, um, the, these chemicals, they are actually very, very harmful. Although we are trying to see how we can eradicate all of this. Mm. So all of this, so that it won't affect um, the human health. So all of these activities that we engage in mm. tends to play a role in affecting the environment okay. and um, our ozone layer. Okay, you talked about ozone layer depletion. Now, what are some common ozone... Uh, uh, de layer depleting substances in okay. the ozone layer, and how can we reduce their usage? Okay, there is halons, and um, there is also um, the like the CFC that I also mentioned. Mm -hmm. Now, we can advise consumers to not use products that have CFC, mm -hmm. and um, they should um, also like. Um, I, I mean, how would they know that a product has a CFC? Okay, um, when you're 
buying like mm-hmm. if you are buying a fridge or you are buying an AC, you should mm-hmm. confirm from whoever it is that you are buying from the dealer mm-hmm. that okay is this part of because CFC is part of what makes um convert gases and liquids to mm-hmm. co- make um, the air cooler. Mm-hmm. So you have to confirm if this doesn't have this. And some countries are also um, partnering with the um, Montreal Protocol to see how CFC are not being imported, CFC products are not being imported mm-hmm. into their country. So there's a lot of, of initiatives going on to see that all of these are being checked so that even the, the, the common man that might not have the idea of what CFC is mm-hmm. would not even have to be seeing it in the market to even purchase it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right. So that's like one... Um, one of the things that have been going on. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Like uh, what we are doing right now, what role does uh, public awareness play in conserving the ozone layer? And how can we reduce uh, people? How can we tell people more about it? Okay, um, public awareness, mm. the role that they are playing, it's, it's quite a lot. Right now, there's a lot of volunteering and advocacy going on in the country. Um, different youths, different uh, organizations, stakeholders, they are coming out and they are advocating about um, preserving the earth, trying to promote the SDG goals and um, and also ensure sustainable development in everything we are doing. People are also imbibing um the, the the one form one part of the SDG goes into their organization into their businesses just to promote a sustainable developed world for for us. Okay. Uh, well, before I let you go, because I have a lot, but we don't have time. Okay. Uh, what is the current state of the ozone layer, and uh, what are the signs to 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 know to know? Okay. Um, as at now, um, I would say it's mixed okay. and. Um, it um we we actually gradually it's recovering okay and uh, what, what i'm saying that is that i'm um, here in africa and especially in nigeria a lot of persons are not really aware of how their activities tend to affect the ozone layer mm-hmm. so we need to carry out a lot of awareness like you said mm-hmm. the public awareness and also in schools also mm-hmm trying to see how um, all of these topics can be taught in secondary schools, let people know what the ozone layer is yes. and how their activities also affect the ozone layers. So um, if it's possible, we can get um, some public figures and celebrities also, you know, do talks about the ozone layer and um, give their own um, pointers mm. from their own plans, on their, from their own platform and their own um uh, um, awareness campaign, if they can do that, it will also really, really help in um, preserving the ozone layer and also creating that awareness. awareness. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Your, your final words, uh, your words of advice, uh, what you need to tell us, all of us, on what to do to protect our environment. Well, I, I will say this, um, whatever you do, you might feel it doesn't come back to you, but in a way, it does come back to you. Mm. So regardless of what, wherever you find yourself and um, whatever you are doing, it has a role that it plays in the environment from the Okada man that is on the street down to um, the, the, the man who works in an office. All of this, you have a way that you are being connected mm. to playing, to, to either affecting or improving the atmosphere. So I feel like we should all be involved in trying to protect our planet. Um, I, I, I Like a report I saw recently and they said... Um, Instead of driving cars, we should use more public vehicles so that we go in numbers. But still on still, um, all of this also helps. And um, I would also advise that um, we try to be involved in one way or the other. If you are not physically involved, you can also give in fundings to initiatives and, mm-hmm. and stakeholders who are actually partnering to give awareness or create change and promote a sustainable developed world. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for Thank your you time so much, ma'am. and this great information you gave to us this Thank morning. You, we do really appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Yes, uh, Mawome Pelumi, an environmentalist, he has talked to us extensively. He said it is a collective effort. Let's ensure we do it together in synergy to protect our environment. And together we looked at conserving the ozone layer. Now we are going to go on this break. When we come back, the program continues.